Welcome back to GMSA at 9. We all know how crucial it is to protect our kids and our pets from the summer heat, but you may not think about the toll that these temperatures can take on your phone. Joining us this morning with some tips to make sure that we don't fry our phones this summer is Luis Silva from AT&T. Good morning, Luis. So first of all, how can the heat affect our devices and what should we be watching out for? Uh, good morning. Thank you for having me. Yes, there are different ways in which the heat can hurt your phone. But first of all, and we don't think about it that much, is when your phone heats up, actually it loses a lot of battery, right? Because the heat tends to drain a lot of your battery. So if it's running too hot, the battery will wear down quicker. That's number one. Number two, high temperatures, really high temperatures, especially like the ones in Texas, could really work the plastic pieces on your phone and it can overheat some of you, your chips and the circuit board which can cause a little bit of battery leakage. So it's really important that you kind of avoid that overheating in your phone. Okay, Luis, so what are some best practices for making sure that these things don't happen that you just described? Okay, number one, do not leave your phone in your car, right? So we all know that it really can affect this. Avoiding direct Sunlight is really important because, you know, the glass will get very hot and, you know, there is it is really important to ensure that your phone has like a case like this, which is thermal protective. Right. So it protects it from the heat and it will help, you know, your device be better. But, you know, extreme temperatures um, and if your phone is at 100 degrees, it's really, really, it will shut down. A lot of the phones have that, that it will shut down immediately. So please don't plug it in right away because it will really affect it as well. Yeah, very interesting stuff there. So what should we do if we are concerned that maybe our phone has actually been exposed to too much heat? Okay, number one, and this one is super important. Please don't put your phone inside your refrigerator. A lot of the people, what they do is they, wow. the phone heats up, then they put it in the fridge. What it does is it causes some condensation and it will affect it. So rule of thumb, turn it off and bring it inside air conditioning or under a fan or close to your AC vent so that it starts cooling down normally and give it some time. Make sure you turn it off, right? And please, please, please do not plug it in, right? Because when you plug it in, uh, you're bringing energy into the phone, which generates heat, which could affect it a little bit. Mm, they put it in the refrigerator. That one caught me a little bit <laughs> off guard there. Yep. But uh, are there any gadgets, Luis, or apps that might keep our devices safe or any other bits of advice that you might have for us before you go? Yes, there, there are several uh, gadgets that in apps that tell you if your phone is overheating. Um, the newest phones, they all come with that, right? They tell you even if it's an Android phone or an, uh, an Apple phone, they will tell you if your phone is heating up. So that will help you in, in getting that. There are several apps that can give you information regarding the temperature of your phone and how much battery you're draining. And that will give you some. But the biggest advice I could give you, especially with the price of phones today, is get some insurance on your phone. It's cost effective. And these devices cost close to $1,000 to $1,500. It's really important that you always have insurance on your phone, especially in the summer, because you tend to be outside at the beach or in the water and everything. You might either lose your device or something might happen to it. But really, really make sure that you have some protection and insurance on your phone. Yeah, that's definitely a big fear of mine, losing my phone in the water. Well, thank you very much, Luis Silva from AT&T. Thank you again for your time today. Thank you so much for having me. And if you missed any of this information, you can find this interview again on KSAT.com or our YouTube channel. Guys, back to you. Keep up to date with all of San Antonio's top news, weather, and so much more by clicking the like and subscribe buttons below. And once again, thanks for watching KSAT.